Hello children. Today in English for standard 4, we are going to learn a new lesson. A farewell to the teacher. In this lesson, we come to know how students of class 4B bid a farewell. Farewell means to say a goodbye to their favorite teacher by conducting a short program. They are also remembering the four years that they spent in the primary section as they will be going to the next class, that is the secondary section. Now I will read and explain you the lesson. Yogita Our respected teacher, Mrs. Shastri and all my friends belonging to class 4B. As you know well, we have arranged this short function today to say goodbye to our favorite teacher. First of all, I request Madhu to say a few words about her. In this paragraph, we come to know that Yogita who is a student of class 4B is telling her friends that they have arranged a short function to say goodbye to their favorite teacher Mrs. Shastri who has always been very kind and helpful to all her students. Yogita requests Madhu, her friend to express gratitude towards their teacher and say a few words about her. Now let's read the next paragraph. Madhu Our favorite teacher, Mrs. Shastri and friends, I am really going to limit my speech to a few words. Four years ago, I never dreamt that I would be able to make a speech in English. It is only because of Mrs. Shastri that I am able to do so today. She is a great teacher and we have enjoyed every minute of her classes. Next year, she will not be with us because we are all going to a new class but we will always remember her and I hope I am sure she will be kind enough to remember us too she has said that we can go and see her at her home whenever we feel like but we will miss her next year here, in this paragraph, Madhu thanked Mrs. Shastri, her favorite teacher, because it was due to her teacher's efforts that she was able to speak in English and give a speech in it. She also appreciates the hard work her teacher did so they could enjoy every minute of her classes. She hopes that she will remember them and they too will always remember her. But they are upset as they will miss her next year since they will be promoted to the next class. But the teacher has told them whenever they feel like to see or meet her can visit her home. Now let's read the next paragraph. Yogita As a token of her love and respect, Shubha will offer her a bouquet of flowers and a gift. Madam, we have prepared the bouquet and the gift ourselves. It may not look too good, but we know you will understand our feelings. May I request you now, Madam, to say a few words. In this paragraph, Shubha 
offers Mrs. Shastri with a bouquet of flowers and a gift that they have prepared themselves. Yogita also mentions that the bouquet and gift may not look too good, but the emotional feelings attached along with it are important to understand. And then at the end, she requests Mrs. Shastri to say a few words. Let's read the next paragraph. Mrs. Shastri Girls and boys, I am really overwhelmed. I am sorry to part with you, of course, but I am really proud of you. You have given me the best reward a teacher can ask for. The confidence with which you conducted this program was really amazing. You have done equally well in all the other activities throughout the year. I am sure you all have a bright future ahead of you. I wish you all the very best in life. Here in this paragraph, Mrs. Shastri tells her class that she is overwhelmed. Overwhelmed means to have a strong emotional effect. effect and she is really proud of them. The best reward they have given her is the confidence. Confidence means the belief that you are able to do things well on your own as they conducted this program and it was really amazing. She appreciates and praises them for doing all the activities throughout the year and then wishes them all the best in life. Class Thank you, madam. At the end, the class thanks Mrs. Shastri. I hope so. You have understood the lesson and enjoyed watching the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.